Hi everyone. Today I'll be teaching you how to composite two images together in Power Automate. As a reminder, this will work the same way in Logic Apps as well. To perform this flow, we will be using the Cloudmersive Image Connector. Now to get things started, we will click Create. On this page, we will choose Instant Cloud Flow, type in a name for the flow, select Manually Trigger a Flow, and press Create. Now we're ready to begin. The first step of our process is going to retrieve the content from our source folder. The files I will be using are in SharePoint, so I will type SharePoint get file content. Next, I will select my SharePoint site address and the file path. Since we're compositing two images together, I will need to create another get file content action. The first file is my base image, and the second file is my top image. After we have created the file content actions, we will look up the Cloudmersive image connector, which is the yellow icon here, and I'm going to select the composite two images together function. It's important to note that if you've never used one of our connectors before, you will be prompted to enter your API key. This is free on the Cloudmersive website with no commitment, and once you've entered it here, you won't be asked for it again. Now we will indicate the location to composite the layered image. This can be a number of options, such as center, center left, bottom right, and so on. Next, we will add our file content from the previous action and the file names. Moving on to our final step, we're going to add a create file action for our output. I will choose the desired location for my file, including the SharePoint address and folder path. Then I will add a name for the file, followed by the file extension, and choose the body content from the image connector action. Once this information is filled out, we can click the Save button at the bottom of the screen. It will take a moment to save the information, but once it's complete, we can click the Test button. We will choose the manual option for testing the file, hit the second Test button, and then Continue. After that, we can click Run Flow and Done. After clicking Done, there will be green check marks next to the connector showing that the flow worked. Sometimes it takes a second or two for all the check marks to appear, so don't stress if that happens to you. Now we can check our newly created file and see that the Cloudmersive logo has been layered over the cloud photo. This is a very simple example of composite imaging, but the operation can support a wide range of file formats, so let your compositing creativity flow. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe and check back in for more tutorials and tips on using Cloudmersive connectors in Power Automate.